Well, happy Thanksgiving one and all. I'm dropping this on Thanksgiving. And if you're watching this on a day that's not Thanksgiving, happy regular day of the week. But if you're watching this on Thanksgiving, happy Thanksgiving. And I hope you find something to be thankful for today. I'm thankful for Pure Leaf Tea. Pure Leaf Tea. They don't sponsor me but they should. All right, guys. So as the title of this video said, my entire steelbook collection, let's talk about all the steelbooks I have in my steelbook collection. And I don't have nearly as many steelbooks as I do Blu-rays or even DVDs, but I do have a good amount of them. And some of them you've never seen before, at least in my collection. I've never talked about them before because I got them in the last couple of weeks. With that said, let's jump in. The very first one on the top is Scream 2. This is a really cool cover. I like steelbooks for a lot of reasons, but the main reason is most of the time the artwork is incredible and it's so different from the artwork they make for the Blu-ray or the DVD or even standard packaging. With that said, Scream 2 is just, it's a great movie overall and I hope that they keep churning out these Scream steelbooks once in October because the last two years they've gotten made and I hope that they make more going forward. Anyway, you see the crowd of Ghostface here is from the beginning of the movie when Jada Pinkett Smith gets killed. It's great. And then on the back, hello, Sydney, remember me? Oh, it's great. Inside, you get the two different eyes. I'm not gonna remove any discs, but if we can see some insides, I'm gonna show you all the insides of these steelbooks. Moving on, guys, we have King Kong. King Kong, I love the cover of this. I like the artwork, like almost a comic book look to this thing. Um, there's nothing on the inside, as you can see. But I wanna pull up another one real quick, and that's Doom. I get that it's the same company that made both steelbooks, but like, could you have tried to do a little different? It's just... You know, they're both cool. They're both cool. Don't get me wrong. They're cool covers. I get it. But it could, you could have just done something a little different. I'm thinking like a space theme for this one. Those are my thoughts. Okay, moving on. What else do I have? Next up, I have Star Wars The Force Awakens. Look at Kylo Ren on the front there, and then the back has Captain Phasma. Remember when they tried to push Captain Phasma on us? It didn't work. And then you've got the Millennium Falcon behind these discs here. Again, it's the artwork for me. I really love the artwork for these things. Next up, we have Star Wars A New Hope, one of the first steelbooks I ever got in my collection. It was a gift from a friend. Um, the inside just has Tatooine, uh, and the back has the original cover or the original poster, I guess. But yeah, I love I love the, the front of this with Vader. It's awesome. Next up, guys, we have the bridge over River Kwai, and I really like how it connects. Look at that. That is a cool... It's just, you're not going to get that artwork with a DVD. You're not going to get that artwork with a Blu-ray, but something about it. I was upside down at the time. There you go. Boom. That's better because there's the river. I had it upside down earlier and it's very strange. There it is. Okay, moving on. Bridge of a River Kwai. Fantastic movie. Next up we have the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Got this for a Christmas present last year. Um, I absolutely love this case. I think it's great. Not a huge fan of the movie. It's the original. I think it's a good movie overall, but it's just, I don't know like when I'll ever be like, oh yeah, let's watch Texas Chainsaw Massacre again. It's on my shelf. It's been there. I've seen it once. Sort of a one and done for me personally. You know. Next up, guys, we have Star Wars Return of the Jedi. You get the Emperor on the front there. Again, the original poster on the back. And then inside, you've got the Death Star, everything going on here. Just a fantastic uh, movie overall. But yeah, I love, again, the artwork on these steelbooks is unlike anything you'll get. Um, next up, guys, we have Annabelle, the original. Now, I did not specifically look for this one, although look at the artwork inside. Terrifying. Um, I didn't specifically look for this one on steelbook. Most of the time, I only get steelbooks if, like, they look incredible. There's nothing super special about this. The rose in the bag. There's nothing super special, but I needed a copy of Annabelle, and I had still not found a copy of Annabelle on Blu-ray, and I found a steelbook, and it was like three dollars, and I was like, all right, taking this home. So Annabelle on steelbook. Next up, guys, we have the Wolfman. Look at this. I think it's 1942, if I'm if I'm remembering correctly. Look at that Lon Chaney playing the Wolfman. It's just a great a great steelbook. I think that's awesome picture front and back. Next up, guys, we have Predator. Look at this. Now, I, I will say this. This steelbook right here, this steelbook is the reason I do not order steelbooks in the mail anymore. Look at that. I don't know if you can see it. I'll kind of bring it into frame. See that dent? You're never going to fix that. It's, it's never, you're never going to pop that out. So that's why I don't like to order steelbooks online. I've taken a risk. I've ordered one or two more online and they've come okay. But this one right here, this dent right here, that's the reason I don't get it. But that, again, the artwork is beautiful. I've got like six copies of Predator. I just, as they make more copies of the original Predator movie, I get them and I keep all of them. It's one of my favorite movies of all time. All right, next up, guys, I love this case. I love this case so much. I should save it for the end, but I'm not gonna. It's American Psycho. And look, he's taken off his face mask. 
Oh, it's just such a cool cover. Look at that. Oh, it's so, it's so cool. Look, we'll pull it down this time. Look, look, that's awesome. There's more to this than that, okay? First of all, steel book. It's beautiful. Got the axe on the back. The inside, you've got his card, his business card. It's even got a watermark. Okay, but then check this out. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. But right here on the back, it says, Feed Me a Stray Cat, which is the, the message on the ATM. It's just, there's so much thought that went into the Steelbook release of American Psycho. And then Best Buy was like, oh, and it's only 20 bucks. Like, that's fantastic. That That's fantastic. You got movies like Bullet Train that I really want to have on physical copy that they're selling the 4K for $35. Like, I'm not, I'm not paying that. I'm not paying that. So it's cool when a classic with a fantastic, like, artwork comes out, Steelbook, and they're like, oh, yeah, and it's 20 bucks. Like, that's just a great deal. Next up, guys, we have a movie that I did not need on Steelbook, but I needed it on Blu-ray. And I think this is actually 4K. It is 4K Blu-ray, and that is Snatch. I love this movie. Again, look at the artwork. It's a boxing rain. It's fantastic. I love this movie so much. I may watch this movie tonight. I just love everything, every frame of this movie. Next up, guys, we have Transformers, the movie. You got the touch. I'm not going to do the whole thing. Uh, it's a little dented on the back, but I got it for discounted disc replay, so... I assume it was because of the dent, but there you go. And that's the Autobots and Decepticons under here. Um, yeah, the only great Transformers movie. The original one with Shia LaBeouf is fine. The rest are, mm, I bought them in a pack. Like that's kind of how you can tell if I'm into the movies or not. If I don't buy the individual copies, then I'm like, mm, I'll buy the pack. It was cheap. Next up, guys, we have Star Wars Attack of the Clones. And look at that. Look Again, look at the art artwork. It's just it's just fantastic. Something about these Star Wars steelbooks. They put so much attention to detail in there. And I just think it's great. And, of course, in here, you've got the clone army because it's Attack of the Clones. Is it a great movie? No, it's one of the worst Star Wars movies ever made. But the artwork was cool. Needed to have it for my collection. Next up, guys, we have one of the best Star Wars movies ever made. And that is Star Wars Revenge of the Sith. Oh, it's beautiful. Look at Grievous on the front here. And then over here you've got, well, the, again, the original posters. So that's what they did with these. They just threw the original posters on the back. And then inside you've got the, uh, you know, lava fight. Somebody's going to be like, no, the fight is actually called something else. I don't care. All right. So the next up, guys, I told you earlier we had Scream 2 come out this year to Best Buy Steelbook. And last year we had Scream 1. And look at that. In the back it says, do you... Do you like scary movies? I don't know why I couldn't read for a second there. I'm not going to edit the, that out. Okay, opening it up. Of course, you've got Drew Barrymore, who's about to get sliced and diced. I love the Steelbook. This is my favorite slasher of all time. So when the Steelbook came out, I had to have it. All right, guys, moving on. Next, we got Star Wars, The Phantom Menace. Look at that. You've got Darth Maul on the front. Of course, the poster on the back. Inside, you've got the council basically telling Anakin, we will never train you. And then, you know. The events of things happen and we eventually got Darth Vader. Okay, moving on. We have Catch Me If You Can. Got this as a birthday gift kind of to myself on my birthday this year. I went to Best Buy and I looked around at movies and I found the steelbook of Catch Me If You Can. And I owned the uh, DVD of this, never owned the Blu-ray. So it's really cool having the Blu-ray Blu copy of this now. Um, I'm, sure the, I'm sure it looks better. It's a better visual presentation. Most Blu-rays are. Um, but yeah, I just really like the artwork. And then when I got home, I realized it had a little scratch down the side here. And, uh, yeah, I'm forever going to see that when I look at this cover. But, yeah, no, catch me if you can. It's a fantastic movie. Next up, guys, we have The Breakfast Club. And, look, it looks like a little locker on the front. You can't feel it, but I can. Feels like a locker on the front, too. Um, just some postcards in here. Not a lot of detail uh, in here. But, you know, there's the back. So, The Breakfast Club. It's a classic. Moving on, guys, we have Star Wars the Empire Strikes Back. And you got a clone on the front there. You've got the original artwork there. Inside, let's see what we got. Oh, we got Hoth. We got the Battle of Hoth, which is pretty cool. Moving on, guys, we have another steelbook, another great presentation from Best Buy. It took me forever to get a copy of this, but here it is, The Cabin in the Woods. Now, again, this is another one of those steelbooks with a slipcover that just makes it that much better. So you've got the characters from the movie In the Woods, and you can see the little fence outline right here, but if you pull it up, you see that they're being watched the whole time. It's just great. And then here on the back, you've got a little bit of a opening. And you're like, what's going on there? But when you pull the slipcover up, that's the elevator where all the monsters are coming out of. It's fantastic. I, I really love the artwork, the time they put into making these steel books. And again, Best Buy puts them out at a decent deal of $20. And I, again, I don't think you can get a better deal for a brand new 4K movie. Yeah, not brand new as in it's a brand new release, but it's a brand new 4K. And it's just 
it's worth the price. It's worth the price of admission. All right, next up, guys, we have Zombieland. I'm not huge on this uh, on this steelbook, but I, I needed it, and uh, it, it's fine. There's the artwork for Zombieland. Um, you wouldn't know it was Zombieland unless you looked at the side here, but yeah, um, Zombieland. It was a movie. I, I, I'm not a huge fan of the zombie era, but I do like that movie. I like Jesse Eisenberg in it. I like every other character. Now I can't remember people's names. Emma Stone. Woody Harrelson. Boom. Got it. Took me a second. Nailed it. Okay. Moving on, guys. We have Mark Wahlberg in Shooter. I picked this up at Walmart. Walmart had this and Wolf of Wall Street. And I was like, ooh, Wolf of Wall Street Steelbook. And I picked it up and I shook it. And the disc was just rattling around in there, which is like one of the worst things as a collector you can ever have happen to you because there was no other copy of it. And I was like, no, lost forever because I'm not getting that. But they did have Shooter. I think I've seen this movie once when I was a teenager and I was like, oh yeah, it was a cool action movie. But uh, I didn't own it and uh, they had a steel book of it. It was like, I don't know, seven bucks. I bought it. Moving on, guys, we have The Unbearable Weight of massive talent and look at this so there's nicholas cage and you pull this up it's another best buy release i'm telling you best buy has the best steelbook releases look at that there's his younger self on the back all the different characters he's ever played and inside i'm not gonna take these discs out but there's stuff going on in there again it's the artwork for me i love the artwork on these best buy release steelbooks they are worth the price this was a gift from my wife actually so i don't know how much it costs but i'm assuming somewhere in the 20 30 dollar range somewhere in there is a brand new movie as well so it's going to be a little more next up guys we have the karate kid and there's nothing really any special about this uh case i mean there's the cover of the movie uh the backs of fist my friend dan actually he told me he was like hey i was a disc replay and they had some really cool stuff and they had this karate kid and i was like oh well i gotta go check it out so Thank you, Dan. All right, let's move on. We have Twilight. I think it was Dan. Now I don't know. I think it was Dan. Dan, if it wasn't you, well, you get the prop anyway. And if it was someone else who told me about that, well, you don't get the props. Okay, moving on. We have the incomplete Twilight Saga. Um, you know, I would lie to you guys and be like, this was for my wife. But the honest truth is, uh, I like these movies. They're good movies. I mean, the acting's not great at the beginning, but I like that last movie a lot. Yeah, Twilight Saga, not a bad not a bad franchise. One thing I dislike about this, though, is they did The Cardinal Sin. The Cardinal Sin, in a collection of any sort, is to stack the discs. And if here they go, they stacked all the discs. And I think it's just the most lazy thing you can do. If you want to put a collection together, you don't want to buy more space, you just want a regular steelbook, which is fine. Put little flip page things in there. It wouldn't take any more space than you already are doing stacking five discs. So here they are. The Twilight Saga, and I like I like the eyes. It's just a cool, it's a cool steelbook. Whatever. Okay, moving on. All right, guys. So this is weird and abrupt, but uh, here's what happened. I was going to set the last movie I talked about down. I think it was Twilight. I set it down on the stack that I had going, and they all toppled and they hit my T. You could see quite a bit of it spilled all over my Blu-rays. I had to clean all the discs. Well, not the discs, the cases. They're steelbooks. So they're pretty sealed. That wasn't a problem. But I had to like clean off all the cases and make sure they don't have T on them. It was a whole thing. Pure Leaf Tea doesn't sponsor me, but they should. Okay, with that said, let's get back into it. What's the next one up? We've got Halloween 3, Season of the Witch. This is a Shout Factory steelbook. I think it's absolutely incredible. I think the movie's a great movie anyway. Um, definitely a weird change of pace when you're watching the Halloween franchise in its entirety, but uh, Halloween 3, Season of the Witch. You know, it, it's... It's something about this movie that I really love. But the Steelbook, again, we're talking about the Steelbooks themselves today. I think the artwork on this is phenomenal. Halloween 3. All right, let's move on. What do we have next? We have Zoolander, the blue Steelbook. See, it's blue steel, but it's blue Steelbook. I like, again, that's why I love Steelbooks. It's the artwork inside and out, and the little, little, little teases, little things they give to the fans. They're like, listen, you love this movie or you like this movie and you're going to willing to buy the steelbook. We're going to put little things on there for you. So this is my blue steel book edition of Zoolander. I think it's really cool. Moving on, guys, we have a movie I ordered by mail, came in, not damaged, The Rain. And it looks like a VHS tape. Now the steel, the slip covers paper, which again, I prefer the plastic ones. So you can see a little bit more, but I do like this a lot. Um, got this off of Best Buy. And then there it is. There's the steelbook itself. You got uh, the girl, I think Samara, coming out of the well. And I thought this would be one of those movies I watched around Halloween this year, and I never had time. So maybe when the next Reigns things come out, I'll watch it and review it. Since everybody will be, you know, hyped for the rain. Something will come out soon. 
I'm sure. All right, next up, guys, we have Star Wars The Last Jedi. Um, again, this, the, the artwork is fantastic on this. I think it is a, uh, I don't want to say garbage movie, but it is my least favorite of all the Star Wars movies that's ever been made. Um, I don't like the pace. I don't like, uh, there's one action scene that is phenomenal. It's the only Star Wars without a Jedi on Sith battle, lightsaber battle. Like, there's, there's so much about this movie, such a different direction than all the other Star Wars. And so when you're watching them all, it's like, well, that felt out of place. I know it holds a, a really good place in a lot of Star Wars fans' hearts, but not mine. I have it, needed it for the collection. I was buying all the steelbooks one day, decided, hey, gotta have it. But it's just... It's a movie. Okay, next up, guys, we have the only MCU movie I have Steelbook Edition is The Eternals. Um, the thing with the MCU is I think that I eventually will get them all in Steelbook as they release. But as of right now, I this was on like a super discount. And it's the only cover of Eternals that I really liked. The rest of the, the covers were just all of the faces of the Eternals all kind of mashed up like uh, like the Endgame cover. And all the, I hate those covers. Those are my least favorite covers ever. I think it's Arashorm is his name or something like that. That's the, the big space god that's, you know, going to destroy Earth in the movie. He's the inside of this. The back, nothing really to write home about. But I do love the front of this cover. I made a special Blu-ray trip video. You can actually check that on my channel uh, when I went and picked this up at Best Buy. So, yeah, Eternals. Fun fact, I was in Phoenix, Arizona when I did that. And I do not live in Phoenix. So, it was a, it was a fun video to make. It was like 110 degrees. Okay, Moving on, guys, we have four left. The next one up is Mean Girls, the Burn Book Edition. I love Mean Girls. It is one of my favorite movies of all time. It's definitely top ten movies. I just love it. Um, I have a hard time watching it with my wife because she quotes the entire thing. Like, she loves it on another level. Like, she, quotes, she will quote from beginning to end this entire movie. So, like, halfway through the movie, you're like, listen, I love you. But you, you gotta stop. Um, but I do I do love this movie so much. Um, and inside you've got the burn book. You know, it's the burn book edition of the Mean Girls, which is fantastic. So inside you get all the different things. They write about people. Uh, what they say about me? Uh, you're not in it. Moving on, guys, we have The Shawshank Redemption. Now, I got lambasted uh, on... Uh, there you go. And there's nothing inside on TikTok because I said that I, it's a good movie. I don't find this movie to be one of the greatest of all time. Um, you know, it's just the, it's the, it's, it's the, the content of the movie. It's not the acting. It's not the story itself. It's just the content. I can't rewatch like prison stuff constantly. It's just not my go-to. If you love this movie, that's great. I'm not saying the acting is not phenomenal because it is. But, you know, it's just something about it where it's like, I've seen it a couple times in my life. I'll probably watch it one or two more times in my entire life. But I've got it on Steelbook because I found it for a deal. Yeah, some of these Steelbooks, that's just how it is. If I find it for a deal on Steelbook, I might as well buy it. All right, guys, I have two Steelbooks left and I'm excited to talk to you about both of them. One of the movies I have a love-hate relationship with, and that is Sleepy Hollow. I love this movie, but I also hate this movie because I love some of the aspects of this movie, but there are so many little things that Tim Burton did, Tim Burtonisms that are just trash like first of all i don't think you needed to change ichabod to a detective but i could roll with that i like the whole first act of this movie but every time they flip to johnny depp as a child and his mother being a witch with witchcraft you could cut all of that out and it would significantly be a better movie because every time it goes there there's no point or reason to it at the end of the day his mother was a witch okay but what does that matter to the overall grand scheme of this movie especially as someone who believes in science and not witchcraft like, he saw his mom being a witch. Why doesn't he believe in witchcraft more? I've got to do a full review of this movie at some point in the near future because I've just got things to say. But I do have the Steelbook of Sleepy Hollow. I love the artwork on the front here. Even though the tree, again, Tim Burton couldn't help himself. Um, and the back is just the poster. And I don't think there's anything inside. Yeah, just fire. Anytime you see this on the inside, like, I've seen this in a couple of them, uh, Steelbooks. And it's just like, oh, you had no idea what else to, to do. So you just threw little flaming fire sparks. I don't know. Sleepy Hollow. I've got it on Steelbook. All right, guys, I have one Steelbook left in my collection to show you guys. And in my opinion, it's the prettiest one. Like, I like all the artwork on them. Some of them I buy specifically for the artwork. Some of them I bought because, well, I've got a deal and I could just buy this on Steelbook instead. But this one I 100% paid a little bit more because the artwork is gorgeous. And that is Star Wars, The Rise of Skywalker. Look at that. It's just gorgeous. This is a 4K edition. I'm looking forward to actually watching this in 4K soon because I've never seen it in 4K. I mean, I saw it in the theater. But I'm looking forward to watching this in 4K. Um, this is a just a beautiful, 
beautiful edition of it. I think it's gorgeous, and I look forward to watching this sometime soon in my movie theater room. But guys, those are my steelbooks. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like and the share button. If you've seen any of these movies, or if you've got a steelbook collection, and you want to put what steelbooks you have in your collection in the comment section down below, well, go ahead and do that, because I love hearing what you guys have picked up lately. And uh, be on the lookout very soon for a Black Friday pickup video, because I have all of the Blu-rays and steelbooks that I will be purchasing on Black Friday. I'll make another video for you guys. So look forward to that in the next upcoming few days. Thanks for watching. See you next time.